Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome to another episode of Games Got Recently. Um, real quick, I just want to thank everybody uh, for checking out my vid and commenting and subscribing and everything. Especially everybody from uh, the forum, Pete's Game Room Forum, if you haven't gone there yet. Uh, go check it out. Um, it's a forum made by uh, Pete Door for all his fans and everybody, uh, for gamers and collectors, so you can communicate, um, talk about anything gaming related, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, thanks for everybody checking out my channel. I have like almost 30 subscribers already, as you know, and I uh, just want to thank you guys. Uh, I'm not trying to get most subscribers or anything, but I think it's cool. You guys are checking out my vids, and I enjoy you guys' vids as well. So, anyway, this is another episode of Games I Got Recently, so let's get started. First game is Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty for the PS2. Um, I got this game for $4.99, 5 bucks, with the book. It's not the greatest hits edition or anything, so pretty happy with that. Next game, um, Scaler for the PS2. This is um, a platformer game that came out when a bunch of platforms were coming out that nobody really uh, heard anything about or, you know, heard any good things about necessarily. And they're, you know, those kind of games that uh, are probably good but nobody really checked out. Um, a lot of the other platforms were um, around the same time were Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg, which is underrated, pretty good. Um, Kai the Tasmanian Tiger and Attack and the Power of Juju. And those are all platformers that came out um, around 2003 or 4. They were pretty good and nobody really checked out. So I went ahead and picked that one up. Um, that game cost $6.29 at GameStop. So I went ahead and picked it up. Next game is Metal Saga for the PS2 by Atlas. This is an RPG. For some reason I thought it was a spin-off RPG of Metal Slug. I don't know what I was thinking because SNK play more and SNK make Metal Slug, so I don't know what I was thinking, but it looked pretty good. You know, the cover art looked pretty good, so I went ahead and picked it up. And uh, this game cost me $4.96, complete with the book. So I decided to give it a chance, and it was cheap, so. Next game is Mad Maestro for the PS2. It's a rhythm based game. Um, Pete Door recommended this on his uh, PlayStation 2 games, I believe, and uh, said it was pretty good and uh, might be a little hard to find nowadays. Um, I got this for $4.99. Uh, yeah, $4.99. This is new, believe it or not. It said used, but this is new. I'm probably going to keep it sealed just because I probably won't get around to playing it, but I went ahead and picked it up. Next game is. I'm going to show you this game. Nintendo DS Feel the Magic. This was only um, this was only 4.49, so I went ahead and picked it up. I'm probably I haven't really heard too much. I know it's uh, one of the first games for the DS that was released in the initial launch, and I just need some more games for my DS collection. And it was cheap, so I'll probably play it once or twice though. Next game is God Hand by Clover Studios, same makers from. Uh, same makers of Okami, and Clover went out of business, so look for the games that they released to be rising in prices. So I got this one for like $11.69, GameStop, with the book, and uh, this is in good condition, it's a really good beat-em-up. It came out a little bit later in the PS2's life, I know the PS2 is still running, but it came out a little later, so I'm not sure if they, everybody got a chance to play it. Go and try to pick it up if you can. Next game, I got Trauma Center Second Opinion from Atlas. This is the second uh, Trauma Center in the Wii series. And um, you use your Wii mode as an instrument, medical instrument like a scalpel or things of that nature. And this one cost me. $13.49. I need some more games for my Wii collection, and I do like the Trauma Center series, so I went ahead and picked that one up. If you notice, though, a lot of these games that I pick up aren't usually the games that I get. I usually get, like, old school Genesis, Nintendo, stuff like that, but 
I need to build my 360 collection, my PSP collection, so. Pick them up. Good prices, pick it up. Anyway. Next game I got Assassin's Creed. I've been wanting to get this for years. And I've just waited until the price went down and the game's in my 360 right now, if you're wondering. Um, this game I got at Game Crazy. And I got this for $13.49, so not too bad. The games that uh the dudes were trying to sell me, they were trying to put them in little thin DVD cases. And I was like, dude, no, you gotta give me the real case. I can't have that flimsy case sitting there. I, I don't know, I'm picky. I have to have it in the original case with the original artwork. That's just me. And, uh, fortunately, they, they were cool about it and they said, oh, yeah, yeah, no problem. Give me the cases and everything like that. So, pretty happy. Don't settle for, uh, cases that aren't original if you really want them. Say, hey, dude. All they can say is no, so. Next game is Bioshock. I don't know. First person shooter, I haven't played this one yet. Heard, I mean, everybody's heard great things about it, so. This one I got, uh, got this one for 17 bucks with my edge card. And, yeah, 17 bucks for my edge card, so. Looking forward to that one. And last game I got. Um, the RPG Mass Effect for 360. This one didn't come with a booklet, and I was kind of disappointed. Usually, they have the game sitting up there, uh, the case is sitting up there with the booklet sitting in them, so you can open up and see the booklet's in there. For some reason, I don't know why I didn't look. All the other ones I looked, I don't know why I didn't notice that one. I think I peeked inside and seen this little battle circle, like the card in there. I don't know why it's in there if it originally came with it, but. Uh, it's okay. It's came with the case, original case, and all that, so not too disappointed. And plus, I got it for a good price. It's only 13 bucks, so mass spec, 13 dollars. And a sequel supposed to be coming out pretty soon. Anyway, guys, that's all the games I got. Um, pretty good prices for 360 games, in my opinion. Um, uh, be on the lookout for a shout out bid. I'm going to do for a lot of people that I subscribe to uh, gaming related YouTube channels and a lot of people from uh, Pete's Gaming Forum that I enjoy their vids and I'm going to give a shout out to you guys. So.